Miscarriage is the spontaneous loss of a pregnancy before the 24th week of gestation. It is a common complication of pregnancy, affecting 10 to 20% of clinically recognized pregnancies. The risk of miscarriage decreases after the 8th week of pregnancy. There is only 3% after a viable fetus has been seen on ultrasound. Various factors can increase the risk of miscarriage, including maternal age, chromosomal abnormalities, and medical conditions like diabetes, thyroid problems, or autoimmune disease. Uterine abnormalities, such as fibroids and other structural abnormalities. Exposure to infections like rubella or cytomegalovirus during pregnancy also causes risks. Additionally, certain medications or recreational drugs can impact fetal development. Type of miscarriages are threatened miscarriage, inevitable miscarriage, incomplete miscarriage, complete miscarriage, missed miscarriage. The clinical presentation of a possible miscarriage may include symptoms such as vaginal bleeding, often accompanied by grayish tissue or blood clots. Cramps and abdominal pain are common, as well as a low backache. Additionally, there may be a decrease in pregnancy symptoms such as nausea and vomiting. When a miscarriage is suspected, certain tests are conducted to understand the situation better. These tests include ultrasound scans, which are used to check for signs like the fetal heartbeat or the presence of a yolk sac. A blood test called beta-human chorionic gonadotropin can also be done to measure pregnancy hormone levels. Additionally, a pelvic exam may be performed to see if the cervix has opened prematurely. If someone has had more than three miscarriages, further investigations may be needed. These can involve genetic tests to look for chromosome abnormalities and blood tests to check for autoimmune or hormone conditions like antiphospholipid antibodies. Other tests such as hysterosalpingogram, hysteroscopy, and laparoscopy may also be recommended to examine the reproductive organs and identify any potential issues. When it comes to managing a miscarriage, there are typically three main options available. Expectant management is a common choice for women experiencing early miscarriages, where they let the miscarriage progress naturally without intervention. Medical management involves using medications like misoprostol, a prostaglandin E analog, particularly if the pregnancy has progressed beyond nine weeks. Sometimes, pretreatment with the progesterone antagonist mifepristone is used. Surgical management may be necessary for cases of incomplete miscarriage or heavy bleeding. Procedures like manual vacuum aspiration, under local or general anesthesia, are commonly performed. Additionally, counseling for miscarriage is an important aspect of care, providing emotional support and guidance for individuals coping with the loss.